failed to check our tire pressure. Well, actually, I checked them on the monitor, and it said it was good. But as we got home, which was just a few minutes away, it started our TP mass started beeping, and it was at 65 degrees. So now we're it's held that, but now we're trying to use the by air and pump it back up. So we want to share with you three upgrades that if you don't have, you could be putting your family's life in jeopardy. Yep. These are three that maybe you thought of, maybe you haven't. And these are three that are so easy to install or put in place that even I mm -hmm. could do it. Even he could do it. <laughs> and he did. Yes. I'm Lynn. And I'm Danny. Welcome to RV America. The original RV America. And the very first upgrade we want to talk about is our TPMS system. Yep. Every RVer's fear is a blowout going down the road. Can you imagine being in the right lane and then a blowout in your on your left front and you're drifting out to the fast lane? Think about how dangerous Not that fun. Yeah. Not fun at all. <laughs> think about how dangerous that could be for you, your family, your rig, and those around you. Uh, TPMS was the first thing we put on our original rig and mm -hmm. we carried it over to this one to make sure we were safe as we we're going down the road. What is a TPMS? It is a tire pressure monitoring system. It will monitor your pressure and your temperature of your tires. It keeps you from having those accidents that will cause all kind of issues or worse. Uh -huh. I prefer to stay accident free whenever possible. So this is how a TPMS system works. You take these little round knobs and you screw them on all the stems of your tires. Quick and easy. He did it. Yep. He screwed them on all the stems of the tires. And then we have this little monitor thingamabobber right here. And if the tires get overheated or if they have less pressure in them than they're supposed to, it will start beeping like crazy. All right. It tries to give you enough warning that you can pull over and be safe. This, uh, what'd you call it? Thingamabobber. <laughs> this monitor uh, is easy to program with your tires. We have six tires. It was easy to program mm -hmm. and easy to put on. And uh, the first thing that everyone <clears throat> thinks about is the main reason, and that is safety. And that's what, what we've been talking about. But it also helps you in a couple of other areas. The second area would be the longevity of your tires. Mm -hmm. the, if you have the right tire pressure in your tires, guess what? They're going to last longer. They're going to wear more even. So that is something that they're not very expensive. And that is something that will help those expensive tires last so much longer. Yeah. Also, properly inflated tires get better fuel mileage, right. which, you know, eight miles a gallon, we'll go for nine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so here's something you might not know. If your tire pressure is down around four tenths, that can reduce your miles per gallon by one gallon. And that's about 12, 13% of decrease in your fuel efficiency. Yeah, can't afford that for sure. Not with these gas prices, so keep yeah. an eye on those, uh, the tire pressure through your monitoring system. And something else that we have done, y'all know we got us a new Jeep back last fall, uh, last late last summer, I guess it was, but you know, we're towing that thing. And so even though it comes with the monitoring system for the tires, we're not gonna hear that up here when it goes off in the Jeep. So we put an additional TPMS system on our Jeep, that way if anything goes wrong and we don't feel it as we're going down the road, we've got beepers up here that are gonna go off and let us know that the pressure is not right on our Jeep and that can save us too. That's right. So we're not here today to try to sell you things. We just mm -hmm. want to talk about things that will keep you, your family and those around you safe. And we're not trying to sell you this tire pressure monitoring system, but we'll, we'll link the one we have down below just in case you want to check it out. So the next upgrade, or a piece of equipment that you want to consider is a surge protector. We don't think about it. A lot of times we think the campground, electricity coming off those pedestals are safe. But think about it. Some of them were built in the 70s, 80s, and that's been a long time. A lot could happen. Wires could have rubbed together, a, a rodent could have nibbled away some of the plastic and create a problem with those electricity. What you need to do is make sure you have a surge protector. It has saved us numerous times. We've been at campgrounds where we had to change sites because the pedestal was wrong. Could have damaged your appliances from your microwave to your TV, computers, so many other things that could destroy your electrical system of your rig. It is smart to protect yourself, protect your rig with a surge protector. But the second reason that a lot of people don't think about 
is something that happened to us is on our old rig with the old surge protector it shot up a code about reverse polarity and what that is is that means the ground and i'm no electrician i might have this wrong but basically wires are not in the right spot and it caused your the skin of your rig the metal of your rig to be hot that means the voltage is running through the metal at the door or if your trailer is metal that it's hot it's a uh, electrified and on a day like today where it's wet outside if somebody your child your spouse somebody come in and touch have wet feet and touch the rig they're gonna get more than a shock it possibly could kill them so this is why we have a surge protector is to protect our family and protect those around us now i'm not trying to sell you this this one but we will put the link down below just so you have a starting point. We're not trying to sell you something, we're just trying to talk to you about safety, but it will be down below. A couple of things I do like about this uh, Power Watch Dog is number one, it's got the codes written on the side of it, so if you're there, you can see real quick what the issue is. And it has an app, so I can read these while I'm away or in the rig to see what is going on with the electrical system of my rig. So the third piece of equipment or upgrade that you should consider is gas stop. What is gas stop? It's a propane leak detection system. It's a propane leak detection system that will keep you safe. Another big fear of a lot of RVers is propane leaks, which can cause fires. What this does is it will detect a major leak like that it will it is guaranteed to stop this propane flow a hundred percent of the time if you have a, a leak say you're going down the road and a big rock or a piece of metal pops up and hits a line to your propane and cuts it it's going to shut it off and you won't have a chance of a fire the second thing that the gas stop does is it tells you how much propane you have with this gauge it'll tell you how much propane you have and the guessing games are over. How many times have we tried to guess how much propane we had, our sensors don't work right, and with this gauge, you now will know. So the third way the gas stop can help you, it's, it gives you a way to do a slow propane leak. The first way was a, a sudden, a major propane leak, but you can use this system, simple instructions of how to determine if you have a slow leak and this will keep you safe. It's one that most people don't think about, but gas stop is super, super important. We'd, we'd suggest that everybody gets one to keep their self safe. So these are the first three upgrades that we added to our rig as soon as we got it. Things we didn't want to leave home until we had because it's a safety issue. Yes, because it's so important to keep yourself, your rig, your family, and those around you safe. Absolutely. Now, if you know of a safety item that we have not mentioned here, something that we may have missed because we're still learning just like some of you are, please put it in the comments below. Yes. If there's something you use that you feel that you don't want to leave home without it, put it in the comments so that we can look into it and see if it's something we need to add to our list. Yes. Also, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. We've got some great videos coming out and you don't want to miss them. That's right. Until next time. God bless and many safe travels. And go RV America.